Hi guys, in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to do lip sync. So, uh, first of all, we're going to need a software that records sound. So, Audacity should do the trick. You should watch some tutorials on how to edit the sound later. So, there's like a ton of effects you can do. Uh, but yeah, I got this raw uh, sound file here. I'm not going to play it yet. But yeah, so you record, you hit the record button, you set your output. So, I have it at inputs and outputs. I have it on my, um, my microphone here. And then uh, you click File, uh, Export Audio, and you have to export it as a AIFF. So that's compatible with Cinema 4D. I don't know about the others, but you can try it out. I know WAV, WAV should also work. So I'm just going to name this test and just save it on the desktop. And it'll give you this prompt here. You just hit OK. And we can exit out of it. And no need. So, yep. Okay, I lost the entire recording of this tutorial, but here's the final um, outlook of it. Uh, so this is what we're going to work towards. Uh, I'm going to redo the tutorial just for you guys, <laughs> and wish me luck. Okay, so let's go ahead and load in our character here. I'm going to go ahead and also lower the quality of the mesh here. We don't even need the body, but let's just do that and make this animatable. So press Q and this will also give us the options of the lip sync here. So if we turn this on and we load in that file we made, uh, test, uh, and then we have the strength up and if we hit play, sometimes it doesn't work. So how we fix that is we just go under here and uh, there's also a, a thing here that tells you how to do this. So you go under effector and you go down and then you hit play and that should uh, kind of fix that issue. Cinema 4D is really bad with sound files, but let's try and work around it. Uh, so now if we hit play, let's make sure our timeline kind of matches the, the uh, recording of the sound file. So hit play. Oh, as you can see, there's stuttering. Uh, so yeah, this is a funny audio clip I'm making. But anyway, uh, so there's stuttering. So what I do is I just set this at a lower frame rate. So I, I'll set this at 15. So Control D, and you get this project settings. And then you can set this at like say 15 and make sure it's real time. Otherwise, it'll get in stutter. So uh, yeah, that's one of Cinema 4D's terrible, terrible audio stuff. Um, but yeah, Maya is a lot better in terms of how you work with audio files. But so we just have to yeah kind of work around it for now. Uh, but yeah, hit play. And now no more stuttering. Uh, so you can either use this as a template to uh, animate your uh, audio files. So so this will start like a is summer and you would just move around like this sideways and it'll kind of automatically um, automatically animate the up and down motions of the mouth but uh, yeah for this tutorial I'm not gonna do that I'm gonna do the manual um, lip sync tutorial how to do it manually so we're gonna just go ahead and change the strength to zero and now we can start animating the mouth uh, expressions. So since I have a frame rate at 15, I can go ahead and uh, subdivide the rig and yeah, let's go ahead and start the animation process. Okay, so I'm gonna make a keyframe at this. So I think at frame three, he starts to say this. Oh, yeah, at frame three, hit the keyframe button, hit the record button, and let's start recording the, the, um, the mouth motions. So what I like to do is just to throw aside the timing for now and just focus on getting the position, so this. So the is, we make the face uh, in real life, just make it and then kind of mimic that motion in to the 3D space. So the is, so it kind of starts with a U, a U sound, like a U, the is. So now it does that, so, summer, so so, so yeah, now we got, let's, let's have this just scroll through it. So hit, hit F and G to move along in the timeline. So hit G and it goes, the is, uh, there we go. So this, we have no timing right now. We're just kind of scrolling through this. Summer, if you're happy with it, now let's hit play. As you can see, it's completely out of time. So let's go ahead and now time it correctly. So the is. So this needs to be a little closer. Summer. So summer. You can always tweak a little if it looks a little wrong. So this is Minecraft, so you can't be perfect with the with the animation, but let's have a look now. So this summer. This summer. 
Yeah, and that looks good. So I got the timing right now. Uh, it's not perfect, but that's how you work with it. So now we got two words, this summer, and then we have Anishwij next. So Anishwij. So let's go ahead and do that. So keyframe where we think it's going to happen. So at around 23 keyframe and let's ah uh, so uh on so we got we got uh nish uh, let's make that a little bit like which Okay, hitting G on the keyboard again and F to scroll around the timeline. We hit R. Uh, we do R. Uh, whatever, that's fine. <laughs> uh, which there we go. So now let's just hit play and see if it's time. No, it is not. So ah. Uh, So now we got the timing, so let's hit play. It looks about right. This is Minecraft. It's a little hard to make it look perfect, but you just gotta go with what you feel is right. Uh, if you want, you can add more cartoonish effects and make the mouth kind of wider open, I guess. It's all up to you what you want to get. I'm a little conserved with my animation. I don't go for that cartoonish effect much, but it's all up to you, so yeah. Okay, so now we can go ahead and add some expression to the uh, mouth animation. So for example, so when he says summer, he kind of goes really low with his voice. Well, well I go. Uh, I try to go. So summer. So let's go go ahead and make a keyframe and like let's move this down. Some and then like move this back up. And that kind of adds that he's trying to go really low. Summer. <laughs> and then um, I kind of just if you want to like make a cartoonish like sort of thing, we can like move this to the side. And then this can like maybe move this up. Okay, so now we can just go ahead and add some jaw movement if you like. So maybe at this we can have him open that jaw a little more. Uh, and then close it. And then summer maybe can like rotate it a little. And then, yeah, when he says Anish, maybe close it. And yeah, let's have a look. Witch tries them. Kind of terrible, but <laughs> whatever, it's up to you. Um, so yeah. Okay, so now let's go ahead and focus on the eyes. Uh, so let's give it a, like a very concentrated pose, uh, like so. And maybe when he says this, he kind of opens his eyes a little. So let's make a keyframe somewhere here. Oops, yeah. This. And then it kind of closes a little, so this, maybe smoothen that out. So I, what I like to do is I kind of stretch it out so it's really slow now. And then if I go to frame 7, which is where it's kind of on, on top, so it's like just about to reach it. I go to frame 7, hold control, and I click a little further down in the timeline. So that'll kind of make it... So now it kind of reaches that point earlier and it slows down, so it's like that effect, a cartoonish effect you can get with that, so... So maybe a little faster, like so. So I got a little bit of eye motion. So we can, you can see it kind of goes into that angry mode when he says summer, and then she kinds back to that. Um, maybe add a blink. So maybe just close it and open it up and let's actually move this down a little after. Okay, so now we can go ahead and add some pupil motion. So maybe like around here we can like move his eyes up and then like back down or something when he comes here actually. So like there. This summer. So keep in mind, our eyes never move slowly. It's always instantaneous because that's kind of how we evolved, right? <laughs> Otherwise, we'll be dead. Uh, but uh, maybe that's a little too weird. So let's go ahead and actually do this. Okay, so now we got some pupil motion. Maybe we can actually like move the 
flips down a little or something. Uh, whoops, that's not right in the timeline. Let's just move this down. This summer, and, witch tries the yeah, and then we can just maybe, I don't know, it's up to you, whatever you want to do. We can like move this, this around. This summer. I don't know what I'm doing. This summer, Anish Witch tried. Okay, so as you can see, Anish Witch. We've animated some of the facial expressions and stuff really fast using my rig. So that's the cool thing about my rig is it does a ton of stuff automatically for you, like say when the eyes move up or whatever, the eyelids move around with it, the mouth, the jaw, and everything kind of moves around on its own, as I like to say. That's why I call it smart face. It kind of, uh, yeah, especially the eyelids. I love the eyelids, how it makes that effect. But yeah, it's, so I highly recommend you check out the presentation. It's always linked down below if you want to check it out, the rig. Uh, and yeah, so if you enjoyed this tutorial, just leave a like down below. If you have any questions, leave a comment. If you have any suggestions, leave a comment as well. Uh, so yeah, yeah I'm, in the next tutorial, I'm probably gonna do another animation tutorial. I think of one, but yeah, it's always best if you leave a suggestion because then I know what you guys wanna see. And yeah, so thanks for watching and see you in the next tutorial.